Welcome back to automation where today we're not building the world's longest car. I was thinking, why don't we come into automation today and build our very own zombie survival car? What is going to keep you alive and fend off the zombies? That is what we're building today in automation. So I feel like we should almost be starting with a fairly regular car and then modify it into the perfect car for a zombie outbreak. Let's go with this guy, a 1995 sedan. I know it may not look like much. With the modifications I have in mind, I think this is gonna be a pretty good vehicle for us. So let's go with this. Unlike my other cars, this is not gonna be a race car. So no carbon fiber today. Let's go with good old-fashioned American steel. Let's go with a space frame because we can crank up the production units, I guess. Steel chassis, front engine, thank you. Let's go with double wishbone suspension in the front. And then let's also go with... That looks good. Double wishbone suspension in the rear. As much as I want to keep the engine as legit as possible, I feel like you'd be able to find a V8 and swap it in in a zombie apocalypse. We're going to try to keep our engine legit, all right? I want to make this thing fast. We're going to be really, really heavy after all of our upgrades we do, so... Yeah, we're gonna want something with quite a bit of horsepower at the end of the day. You know what? I'm feeling like no turbo for this thing. That would probably complicate things, so no turbo. We're gonna be far less powerful than we could be if we did have a turbo on here, but I feel like this is more legit, all right? We're kind of walking a very thin line, all right, between real and making it really cool. <laughs> that is like a work of art in there, race headers. I can go long headers, no valves, no exhaust, no nothing. We are a good old fashioned straight piped boy. We set our RPM limit to 9,100. We've got 505 horsepower and it actually works. No problem. I feel like that's a very legit amount of horsepower. Let's give it a test real quick though. I can feel the freedom from here. What an awesome sounding car. Anyways, for our actual car, we can make it convertible. We can make it a coupe. We can make it four doors, which is probably what I'm going to go with. Or we can even go with a... That's the ugliest wagon I've ever... Wait, there's more. There's this like sport back version. There's a... A two-door wagon, a pickup truck. What the hell? I, I feel like with some customization, this thing's gonna be really cool. Let's see the body morphine though. So we've got to make this thing look really good. And we've got to remember, in a zombie apocalypse, we'd be able to do a little bit of customization. So nice wide body right off the start. We can change the angle of our hood. Let's keep it quite aggressive looking. Whoa, look at that for body morphine. As it's a zombie apocalypse, we've got to remember we're going to toss some rust onto this vehicle. But we do have paint jobs. What should I... What color should I make it? That's actually so cool. No lie, I would drive that. I mean, providing it had proper sized wheels. That looks sick. Before we get into any of our zombie survival stuff, I feel like we should start it off with the basics. Tail lights, grills, the usual, okay? We need some good old headlights for this guy right off the bat. And I mean, they're definitely not the nicest looking headlights in the world, but I think we'll go with them. In the end, you won't actually see them very much. Don't worry about it, all right? Anyways, though, because our headlights will actually be blocked by, let's say, some of our equipment we do need to get a light bar for the roof we can say that we uh stole this off a uh, pickup truck somewhere okay headlights finished let's go off to the rear where we can get some tail lights this hopefully should be a lot easier to find some nice ones i know how i'm gonna get tail lights for this thing i mean they might be a little bit on the small actually hold on wait i can make this fit way better those are my tail <laughs> somebody in twitch chat is like why are you building a skyline from Walmart? Indicators? No, I'll be a BMW for today. We've got to remember, for our grill, since this car is a zombie survival car, we want something kind of aggressive and almost scary. No, I could, I could totally see 
a real life car manufacturer actually do this. A huge part of this car is that whole zombie survival thing. And I've got some pretty good options for this. For example, I have broken window decals. And then if I come into here, we've got tons and tons of rust decals that we can chuck on here. Okay, the game really, really doesn't like these decals. It lags. Maybe we should make it a little bit more deadly. So why don't we put a monster gun on our roof because America... Uh... I have an idea for this. What? No. Bruh, 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 bruh. This is a sick idea. Let's go. That's so cool. Minigun spoiler. I, I was thinking, right? The front of the vehicle doesn't look dangerous enough. So why don't we just get a saw? Look at that. I've got a racing front spoiler now. Anyways, though, I think that's enough zombie survival stuff for now. We will come back to that in a moment. Let's Keep making this look really cool. You can't even tell me you wouldn't pay like 5 million bucks for this thing in GTA Online. We do need some rear view mirrors as well. Now, I feel like I want to get something cool. Maybe something a little bit different. Actually, maybe I should go for different side wing mirrors. Maybe we can imagine one of my wing mirrors fell off and we weren't able to rescue it. So I had to tape on a wing mirror that I found. All right, all right, I'm digging my two different wing mirrors. I knew the rear of our car was missing something. Let's get a number plate on here. Maybe one that looks like that. They're kind of staggered, so they look aggressive. That's gonna be some nice flames out of this exhaust. Back to the miscellaneous stuff. So I think we can all agree that I definitely need something on the roof over here. And I'm feeling like almost like a turret would be a good idea. So let's see. actually maybe this. Uh, um, may maybe not that. That's looking cool. Oh, uh, Twitch chat wants me to get some gas cans on here. Some extra fuel. Okay. Maybe I get two of them. One on either side for maximum extra fuel. Those look pretty good. We've been adding weapons to our vehicle for the past hour. I think we're good there. That looks pretty good. Anyways, let's finish up this build. Let's make it all wheel drive. That should be really cool. Dual clutch, six gears, get some nice top speed out of the thing. Let's go sports tires on this just to make it kind of cool, you know? And then now we can finally get some good old engine spacers. Let's go. Safety equipment, considering my car has uh, five guns on it, as well as this spinny boy, uh, I'm gonna go with none for safety. Yo, I could raise it all the way up or I can slam it right the way down. That's so cool. I think I'm gonna go around there. I feel like that's pretty good. This is gonna be the AR-12 Sam Survivor. Let's export this thing, take it over to BeamNG Drive, I really, really hope it works. We weigh 3,100 pounds. That's not bad. We've got 500 horsepower, so I feel like we should be okay. Come on, don't blow up. It didn't explode. Apparently, my rust texture didn't really come into BeamNG that well. Not, not gonna lie, it doesn't look exactly like rust anymore, but it's good to know the people in BeamNG really like my car. We actually went out with the intention of building a very legit car, so it should work properly. There's nothing crazy about it. It's six gears. We're fairly lightweight, even considering all of our mini guns and stuff. You are totally joking. Keep it on the road. We're good. Something fell off. Something just fell off my car. Oh my God. I've built a rally car. I built a V8 rally car. How did I build something so good? Bruh, this is not a car that you want to mess with in the slightest. 130 miles an hour. Whoa, 140. Whoa, it's fast. Whoa, it's so fast. I broke it. What is faster, a block of cheese or an angry American? Come on stage, there we go. Yes, it's a, it's a close race. It's a close race. I'm being beaten by, by a block of cheese. Are you kidding me? I just lost a cheese. When you're on your zombie survival run, 
Who knows what you'll run into, for example? I don't know, a cliff? Oh no. Oh, I've already lost a tire. Come on. We're okay. We're okay. We are still okay. We're like a Beyblade. All right, I may have lost one wheel, but it still works. Let, oh. Let's go. If the cliff doesn't get you, I don't think the zombies are gonna get you. No way.